Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Welcome to Postscript. Thanks for joining us. My name is Justin Teague, and I am the Worship and Communications Pastor at FaithBridge, and I'm here with Dan Slagle, our Care and Bridging Pastor, who just finished part three of our sermon series, Calm the Home Down, called Value Others Above Yourself. Welcome, Dan. Thank you. Great Good to message. be here. Thanks. Uh, we had two questions come okay. in. Uh, the first one is about uh, parenting. Uh, she says, Pastor Dan, I have a question about how much we as parents should serve our children. I have found that conflict and anxiety can arise when my spouse and I have different expectations as to how we should serve our children. Take, for instance, when we ask them to clean their rooms, we have different expectations as to what level they should be able to meet at their age. That, in turn, creates anxiety and stress all around as we discuss how much we should help them slash serve them versus letting them grow, stretch themselves. Can you speak to serving in the home, serving our children, growing and differing expectation levels? Yes, I can. Uh, I don't know of any home that is immune to this sort of thing. Uh, differing expectations can arise over any number of issues. But... Uh, I think the issue that is causing the anxiety here is uh, n not so much uh, serving your children, but you and your husband getting on the same page. Hmm. Um, I would take whatever time was necessary to resolve that issue first, because if you don't figure that one out, it, anxiety is going to be there for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And if you need someone to referee, you know, we have lots of resources here. Sometimes couples just can't get things figured out. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you can't, it's always good to ask someone for help. So um, I would say getting on the same page, having similar expectations will go a long way toward diminishing the anxiety. What would be a good first step for someone who's not sure how to ask for help uh, from FaithBridge? Call and ask for Beth Ellis here at the church office, and she will be glad to uh, either provide service herself or point you in the right direction for someone. Great. Second question. Uh -huh. uh, what happens when serving feels more like a job? How do we get back to feeling a joy and an eagerness to serve? That's a great question. Um, you know, any task can become that eventually. Even, even things that we really like to do can go south for us. So I, I think you need to ask yourself several questions. Uh, first of all, uh, is there anything going on inside of me completely apart from this job that is impacting my attitude, my perspective? Um, is there something that has changed about the task? Hmm. Uh, maybe it's the same general type of work, but maybe there are aspects of it that you're not feeling so great about. Um, Maybe it is time to move on to something else. Perhaps it's time, though, just to simply say, you know what? Every job gets this way once in a while. I just got to tough it out and mm -hmm. see. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> um, but I would certainly go through that checklist first of asking, okay, so what's going on here? Is it, is it the job or is it me or is it circumstances surrounding sure. the job? You know, a follow-up question to this, I think a lot of times, uh, especially in serving the Lord or serving in the church, um, I might say, you know, I felt called to do this. Mm -hmm. Well, what happens if I don't feel this joy anymore? Does that mean the calling is gone? Or does that mean, how do I, is a calling last forever? Right. Not necessarily. Uh, a, a call, it can be a call to a specific task, or it can be a call to a vocation which would be a little longer la lasting, hopefully, than a task. But yeah, I don't, I don't think that God tells us, okay, you've got to be an usher for the rest of your life or <laughs> you know, something of, of that nature. He understands that we move through different seasons, uh, different things happening at home that will uh, impact how we're feeling about a given job. So there's nothing wrong with stepping back and evaluating. Great. 
Dan, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next week with Pastor Ken and the conclusion of our series, Calm the Home Down. Have a great week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.